Hey everybody, Lindsay here from Poppy and Vine. On today's Meet the Maker, it's gonna be a little different. Traditionally, I have a maker come on from the area and discuss how they got started, where they find inspiration, how you can support them, but today it's just me. So I thought I would take this opportunity to share a little bit more about Poppy and Vine, the Wine Country Distillery Festival, my background, and the fun 2022 has uh, in store. So, in 2017, just after the Tubbs fire, I was trying to figure out how to support the community, give back to our local craft uh, hospitality brands, and the idea of Poppy and Vine kind of started percolating. At the time, I was working in Oakland for a food startup, really living somebody else's dream, and decided that I wanted to take a leap of faith, and I did just that. And in 2018, Poppy and Vine launched, which is still kind of crazy to think about. Um, and, and since then, we've launched the Wine Country Distillery Festival, as well as a few other fun projects that you've um, joined in on through 2021 and 2020. So in 2018, as you know, we're thinking about the Wine Country Distillery Festival, um, ways to kind of create a new experience for the area that wasn't wine or beer focused, we honed in on the distilling community, which was at that time still kind of small um, and has really just blossomed over the last couple of years, especially for the greater region, which is exciting. And in 2019, we launched our first festival. It was well received with the community and visitors. And then in 2020, we did it again actually six weeks before the pandemic and shelter in place orders went into effect, which um, I am forever grateful to have been able to create that experience in 2020 before our lives really changed. Um, and like everyone, we pivoted, right? So we introduced the Meet the Maker series. We also did some virtual tastings and tours, and it was a really great opportunity to really um, get to know our distilling community even more intimately than we had before. But with that, everything changes, right? And so we are now in the midst of planning for the 2022 Wine Country Distillery Festival, which is going to be March 12th from 12 to four at the Luther Burbank Center for the Arts on the East Lawn, 100% outside, um, which we're really excited about being able to create an environment where everyone feels um, safe to come and participate and still support our local regional distillers, as well as local artists, musicians, food artisans, and other great vendors. So it's an amazing day um, supporting our craft regional distillers and other local makers. So please join us. You can uh, visit the link in my bio for tickets. They're still on sale. Early birds are uh, flying away at the end of the year. So be sure to grab those before 11.59 p.m. on the 31st. Um, but a little bit more about me. So I'm a fifth generation Sonoma Countyan and I've left and come back more times than I can count. <laughs> and Sonoma County is just a really special place. Um, you know, my roots are here and I've had a great opportunity to experience other places, but something always pulls me back. And I think that that's a common thread for a lot of people that we've spoken to over the last two years in the Meet the Maker series, um, whether they're from here or they've visited and then have decided to call this place home. There's something about our community that is really special. The landscape, the people, the true genuine hospitality that Sonoma County has to offer is something that uh, Poppy and Vine wants to continue and will continue to share and encourage visitors and locals alike to come and experience those smaller independently owned and operated hospitality brands. So thank you for joining me over the last handful of years. It's been really great having you as part of my uh, community and I look forward to more fun things in 2022 like the Distillery Festival. We're probably gonna take a hiatus from the Meet the Makers for a little while as we focus on that, but uh, be sure to stay tuned for other great things that will be coming up as the year progresses. Happy New Year, uh, celebrate safely, and cheers to a bright 2022.